Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, Crimson Panda here. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Nagas. Now, this build was built by Vexia. He was actually playing this on stream two days ago and asked me not to post this video until today because he wanted to try and climb up the ranks of it and keep the comp a secret. But we have access to it now, so let's head over and check out this comp. Okay guys, so this is the comp here. As you can see, I've called it Insane Nagas. Now, it's not a full Naga comp, but we can't really pull a full Naga comp off yet. So the idea behind this comp is you're going to open up with Elise, Ashara, and Reno in your opener. And then you've got Bane, Athena, and Vash on your bench. Um, the idea here is you're going to be using Elise to use your Golden Monkey ability. You're just going to be cycling through this. The buff on turn 1 and the bleed on turn 2 are just incredible. Um, you can actually get to a Golden Monkey and be able to get some ridiculous damage off, but that is not the aim of this comp. You can do it, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. If you end up having the ability to do it, then definitely go for it. And then Ashara is there basically because this deletes reds. So with the shifting tide, it's just huge damage to any red unit like local R, Trigor, um in the early game. And then Reno is there because of he's just the best taunt in the game. Being able to use flex in in order to deal damage to an opponent and make their next ability only target Reno is crazy good. And he gains taunt to prevent those fighters attacking as well. And then as of our bench, we have Bane. Bane is here because of the Totemic Mastery. This is just so good to be able to protect your mercenaries in the late game. Um, chucking that in between two mercs, getting at least one of those big damages that you might end up going up against uh, into the totem is really strong. Keeping your health alive on two of your mercs out of the three because of the totem. Um, the only scary thing here is it getting sniped by Cookie, but sometimes cookie doesn't really go for the totem even if the totem's up because there's other units that are at low health that aren't positioned next to bane um but that is the main reason he is in there and also the uh the earth mother fury is just insane amount of damage and the healing is just the best heal in the game as well so definitely got to include him and then we got athissa who is in here because of the captive tides now the captive tides is massive damage i don't have it max but increased by six for each other naga you control we're running the warlord which is obviously giving you a naga straight away and then we have vash and azura as well they're both nagas that are going to benefit from the captive tides but if you're also up against really really attacking mercenaries then the riptide at free speed is crazy it's going to deal 10 damage and then every time they attack it's going to deal an additional 10 damage and you want to really be using this when they're fairly low so that they can only really attack once um very good against obviously a late game leroy if um he's going to punch a number of times and you manage to get this down by some costs um, which isn't really the way you do it. It's really the captive tides you want there. And then Vash is in here. We have the Icy Grip, which is going to prevent Neo Nagas taking too much damage. Um, quite a lot of them are 7 speed and 6 speed. So you're definitely going to be able to pull off some of these um, late game, take less damage from like late game Frost, Localars and stuff. And then obviously you can queue up the captive tides as well with that once Vash is out. But mainly the reflex shot, dealing crit damage to enemies that have already acted. And then the electrifier is actually really, really strong as well. Just dealing 22 damage for a 5 speed in the late game is actually really good. Um, it might not seem it, but paired up with the others, with the Bane and the Athusa in the late game, is really, really strong. So that's it for the comp, really. I'll just run through the equipment with you. So at least we have the Trinket. Ashara, we have the Queen's Scepter. Uh, so that she can come back after dying and still being able to do one of her really fast abilities um, on the next turn. Reno, we have the treasure because it's just the best uh, equipment he has. Bane, like I said, we're running the Totemic Mastery. Athissa, we are running the Battle Cry. And Vash, we are running the Icy Grips. So stick around for the gameplay. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, two, two, and two. We go Elise, Queen, Reno. It's a standard opener, really. We're going to bring out our Nagas a little bit later on. 
Okay. Buff humans with monkey. Go for monkey, I guess. We can flex on him. Just going to target these into Reno. That's probably what we want to be doing. Try and prevent any uh, crits and deaths. Ooh, there's big bananas, though. And the perfect heal. Wow. Perfect kill there. Nice AoE. Kill the monkey. Sweet. So what do we want to do here? What are they going to bring out? They're probably going to bring out... Can do Leroy for zero speed or Rogers for something. Rogers could get quite nasty. Captive Ties isn't going to do that much because we've only got the one Naga out. We'll have two. Could crit into that. Crit over on Guff. Can we go for a bleed? Possible AoE. I think Vash might be the better option here. So I don't think they're bringing out their red, which is Cariel. Yeah, Rogers. We might be able to kill a Rogers early here. Go for AoE. If they've already acted, I mean, they could two speed something and punch something twice. It's going to do 24 crit. Let's try that. Let's go for the AoE. Let's see if we get it. Get the bleed. Ooh, small AoE. Have acted. So we do get the crit over on Rogers, which is good. Nice. And the bleed is huge. So we can root. Root is going to be really good here if they don't two speed, which they could two speed into Guff, which will actually get him the kill, which they're going to want to do unless they want to get the bubbles to keep them alive, which we can't do anything about. They're going to bleed at the end of the turn, so that'll kill them actually. So they're going to definitely do that. We'll root anyway. Don't need the spell damage. I think we're just going to shoot into something. Can't kill... Ro well, we can kill Rogers. I think we do kill Rogers. We'll go for this. We'll keep Tyrion up. Because we don't want to buff his bench. We want them to come out. Yeah, it does go for the guff. We do kill over there. And we do almost kill Rogers. Okay, the bleed kills it. Sweet. So we bring them out now before the buff. Battlefield does get the buff anyway. Ooh, there's going to be a totem actually for Carrier. I was going to heal. Going to get that totem off, isn't it? But they're not quick. They're going to do Leroy for zeros, which will kill the totem off, which actually will be really nice. I think we go for a big AoE. Can we avoid this? This is going to punch, 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 punch. This dies. Because it hits it. This is actually going to die as well. So we might zero just to prevent that. And then we'll just, we'll five speed. Thinking this goes off. And Leroy might die from the hit and everything. Oh, it does get the kill because it came back. That's so bad. Because it came back and it still targeted it, it got the kill. Okay. So this is really annoying now with this taunt because they actually have more heals. Seven speed. Can't slow them down. This is going to hit 7. We can hit here. This goes 20. That swings in. Actually, we can kill our own unit at 5 speed before them. Captive Tides. This goes into this. So does this. Oh, I don't like swinging into something that big, but we got it. Goes for the chicken. 12. Gets rid of that. Nice. I was definitely going for the taunt. So we do get the AoE and then that swings there. Nice. 
played around it. So we're going tied here. We can heal. Just concedes. Nice. Okay, two, two, and two. This is going to be another buff human build. Looking that way. It's not as a frost. It's kind of annoying for the local arcs. We want to buff. It's going to be really annoying with the local arc. 14. Can attack instead of doing this. Is it only going to crit at least? I think we can probably be okay. Nah, screw that. When we don't even crit local arc, this is going to do 14. And then Frost, Arcane, Nature. So it's going to push this to 27, which would be 54. So 54 and 14, that would be 68. 68, 72, 75. It won't kill it. Not even going to flex. Okay, that's probably the best way of doing it. So we can either go 12 now, which I think is the only way. I mean, we could heal potentially enough. It goes... Uh, a random target and I don't want to do that. 14 isn't enough. Oh, I don't want to heal or do anything though because I don't want these to deal damage. I think we just go again over here and again here. This is 6 now actually so we can actually do it because this is going to be a 5. I think the heal might actually come in handy here. Still stronger hails. Another punch over there. Don't kill anything. Nice. And we get the heal on. Oh, I thought that was the local. We do kill the local. Okay. So we're still slow. We can buff up now for three speed. Reno's okay. Queen Azara needs help from Bane, but as long as we get that Jaina killed off and they prevent the uh, the frost soon, that'll be good. The scaling. We're going to bring out a green unit now. Try and kill off that Reno or something. Ooh, the freeze is, is huge. Okay, so we have the flex. We can flex on something. We can heal. This gets flexed better. God, I really want this dead. A bit risky doing that. Very risky doing that. Okay. Queen Azura is dead. That's fact. I really want to buff, but six speed might be the only one that helps. We're going for RNG. We're gonna we're gonna try and hit the Jaina. Try and pop it. Before the freezing. Oh, was it before the freeze? Please kill Reno. Nice. Kill the uh, the elemental. Good. Big heals as well. That's good. Okay, so we couldn't, we didn't pop this. We can now with the AOE. Bleed. Do we just get that AOE? I think I want to heal this. Bleed to take care of that at the end of the turn and this can just start hitting into this. I think that's better. Nice. Bleed is good. Cold snap does nothing. Bane is taking damage though.
Root isn't going to help us. Three speed heal is. AoE might not. That AoE will. But only if, the, if if this goes once, this goes, and then this goes back to two, that would be a five speed. Heal up the heal after, just get this off. And if they go first, we survive. We go first, it doesn't. Actually, I think I heal first. And then do it. Push it to five. He goes three, but then we... Oh, he went first. Wow. Okay. It's going to be a seven speed now, so we need to get a bit lucky. Nice. Big AoE there. And then big AoE there. Sweet. Two on two. Nagas. This is... Karen Diablo, potentially? Bane. Tarande. Oh, shoot. Okay. So we have a big captive. So this is going to do 60, 72. Not good. It's going for 10 and 4, so it's going to do 50, which this kills, kills this straight away. Can we, can we kill this off? No. This hits over there, gets hit by that. 22 and 60. This will actually be less because this dies. Oh no, it doesn't die. If they already acted, deal crit damage. That's actually 24. So this is going to go. Unfortunate. Couldn't get the uh, Torande kill there. And we're going to lose our green unit. Oh, we do get the Torande kill. No way, how was that? Do we hit it? It did nothing. We punch it for 24 with that because it acted. Putting it down to less than 60. Of course it does. On 57, we did 60 to it. Oh my god, that was insane! Because he might heal, so it's this 22, 36. Fuck's sake, okay, close. And can see it's nice or dies. Okay, two, two, and two. Here we go, release Queen Ajara and Reno. Okay, is this another form of buff healing? Uh, buff bench, sorry. So we buff, what do we want to kill? Do we want to take out Bane? Let me just go for the crit guy. Reno goes first, so it's going to kill this. And then this does big damage over there. If that was max, Reno wouldn't actually kill it. And he's not going to get his three speed buff off. Nice. Ooh, we flexed on us first. Still get the uh, kill on the totem. Oh, he's got a Maestro in there. Keeps his Bane alive. 18 crit over there. And we're not hitting him now, so we end up hitting Reno instead. So we blade. Do we just go big over there? Flex is going to hit Reno, it's going to go green. We just go for the AoE. It's going to be quite slow, so hopefully we still survive. It's 
that's healing. Oh yeah, no doubt. We've got big damage and bleed. We can Bane to protect this. I think is the play. None of them are attacking, so that doesn't benefit. And this is good for AoE, but not just yet. We need some monkey out to help it, I guess. But we can't get a monkey. Okay, two speed over there kills that. Give it a 10 speed while we're protected. And then this into Reno. I don't think they're going to heal again. Almost triple kill, hopefully. It's going to buff, so that 50 actually might survive still. I see it can't buff. Attack it, nice. So it definitely dies now. And then 27, it's very close to Reno's death. And we still keep the uh, totem alive, which is huge. Ooh, that's going to be a big Reno. So we can heal up. AoE is going to be slow but powerful. Might just 10 that though. Bang, 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 bang. It's going to crit into this. And full speed goes. This is only 50 odd though. I'll punch into Reno as well. And oh, into Leroy, sorry. Let's see what that does. Yeah, it definitely goes for everything. Ooh, okay, he's getting in the, uh, the loop. Back on one. Kills off that, which is huge. Kills off the mouth. Nice, big damage on him. We managed to keep all of our units alive as well still. Bane goes for the totem again, which is huge. And kid seats, nice. 2-2-2, two, 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 impossible to tell. I'm going to open up with our usual, so we've got Elise, Queen Ashara, and Reno. Oh, okay. So it's like a buff. Buff humans. With a monkey. We just kill the monkey because we can get it. Or we'll lower it. I mean, he doesn't combo out this turn. Oh, he's playing big bananas. Oh, that is big. And he gets the kill off there. That's massive. Okay, we've got some Reno procs. So we go for AoE, possibly. Do we Vash into this? Kind of want to save Nagas for later. So we're going to put that here. Protect these two with the ground totem. Bleed. Don't really want to punch that, honestly. <laughs> Even if it does do 30. Especially if he two speeds into us. Going to two speed over here, though, right? Unless he taunts and we're hitting this. But that's not going to happen because it will die first from this. Because that will go to 5. Unless he uses both our speeds. No. Dark, nice. He's just hitting over there. Get the kill. He doesn't get this, the kill, which is sick. Totem saves us. Afraid of Illidan. Perhaps move that to the middle. Do 
to want any casters on the outer side if you're unsure of what their green is. I imagine it's Leroy with like some sort of with Carriel and Rogers, but it might be an Illidan. Nagas take full less damage until they act, which is crazy good. Okay, he has bled as well, so he's got bleed on him. Takes 15 damage at the end of each turn. So only need to take down, yeah, Leroy and Rogers, okay. So imagine Leroy's going zero, which means everything's random. So we can go for a 50. 30, I mean, we might be able to get it all. Could slow Rogers down. We could prevent it from attacking. And this. I think we definitely root. We went for the big AoE. And big shot. This big AoE is actually going to kill this. Big shot. This is attacking a lot. Kind of afraid of Rogers though. But we'll go, we'll go for Reno. Hoping we've rooted Rogers here. Yes, nice. That was good. And then we're hitting Reno for big damage when we shouldn't have really. We should have gone for Rogers there. Didn't realise he's only going to have one health left. Got three speed. Three speed heal, which isn't going to help us out because they're definitely going for two speed heal themselves. So they're going to kill this. At two speed, which means this is still all right. They're going to attack twice. I mean, we can go 60 here or just pump up this. I think we go 60. This just dies at two speed, but we'll try and heal. Yeah, that's fine. We go 60 straight into that. And then what prevents death? So we don't really want this to be getting any kills. So we don't want our green out. But then it's going to get a kill off our taunt here. Hasn't got two speed, so it's six speed kill it. And we do have the AoE for 20. And we can punch here for 15. So we might actually be able to prevent that. We've got Wave Crush. we got Tidal. Got Riptide. Captive Tides. Or we can just do this. Reflect Shot for AoE and this for AoE. Yeah, let's be safe. I mean, the crit will kind of curse, but we're faster. So we always go 3. This is 22. And this is going to crit for 20. So that should kill this. If the enemy's already acted. So maybe they heal and we could get a crit there. But maybe not. We'll get all in on Carriel because we're afraid of it. We don't want any more heals basically. Nice. Okay, that does huge damage but we did kill it. Nice. So now it's just us versus Rogers which is actually really really big. But they can see. Nice. Thank you.